Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4. We are here with the Green family, where little Aaliyah looks like she wants to follow in her mother's footsteps by learning her logic skill, which she really does. She's uh, the whiz kid aspiration. So right now she's busy playing a game of chess. And actually I bet one of her, I bet Pine could come upstairs. He really needs to have a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna have him come up and join the game. Oh my gosh, it's Olivia. Actually, it's Olivia. She's come to visit us. It's Olivia Spencer, Pine's friend. And look, she has eyebrows now. Isn't that awesome? So let's go ahead and we're going to visit with her. Uh, hopefully that'll help out because Pine is bored to death. Let's enthuse about the outdoors. Uh, and then let's ask the cloud gaze just because he, he just needs to sit and chill for a few minutes. He's very tense from a desperate for fun sort of day at work. And today, I think there's just one day left. Yeah, there's just like a couple days left before Pi or Pi or Holly and Ash, there we go, age up. So we are actually gonna be working really hard. Ash is just like, hey, yeah, my brother's coming. We're gonna be working really hard to fulfill the last of Ash and Holly's needs. So we need to get Ash up to level 10 motor skill. And Holly, oh, she's feeling sad. Holly needs to play an instrument for five hours, make a couple paintings, and reach the top of the creativity skill. Oh, she just had a really bad day at work. So we'll have her draw, or work, at school. So we'll have her draw something to try to feel a little better. Hopefully, uh, Pine. Oh, he just became good friends with Olivia. That's awesome. You know, someone actually sent in fan art of these two. There's so many people that he could hang out with, but I think Olivia is really cool because she's into all sorts of like nature-y stuff too. Oh, and they actually seem like they're pretty good friends, so. You know, they're both they're both geeky into those kinds of things. Pine, I don't know. We might have him flirt with her. Oh, and oh, Zoe! Zoe's offered the chance to choose her team on the next mission. She can either send her astronauts on a high-stakes mission to the outer reaches of space, or she can send them on an easy information gathering run closer to home. Which should she choose? Um Let's do the easy close mission, just because Zoe would play it a little safer, I feel. Uh, Zoe, the task isn't too difficult, but Zoe's team executes, executes flawlessly. The rest of the agency knows that they're dependable in a pinch. That's a good thing. Zoe has actually been promoted, and so I'm trying to get her promoted a little bit more. Uh, Lily is over here working. It just seems like a nice Friday afternoon. Time to spend some time working on the cargo bay. Where is Iris? Iris, where are you? <laughs> She is out in the middle of nowhere reading The Night the Moon Forgot to Shine. You know, your daughter is feeling really sad. I'm pretty sure she could use her mom. Maybe. All right, I'm just going to let Iris. Maybe she wants to spend some time alone. There's... You <laughs> do. Well, that actually does help with Ash's motor skills, so I'm just going to let him do it. And Pine has actually been working hard. And he came out here and we spliced together, what, strawberry bonsai buds and daisies. So I heard if you splice together daisies and strawberries, something might happen. And it looked like something did happen. We have bonsai buds. That would be so cool. Oh my gosh. Tate, what if you like helped people by, by growing bonsai buds? That would be so fun. I'm going to have him make another fruit cobbler for dinner in a little while too, because everyone seems to love those. All right, pine. His fun's not going up too fast, so let's joke about aliens. Their relationship really goes up high. High five. Um, I guess ask if single? I don't know. I feel like they have like a friendship friendship, you know? Ask about woo-woo. Tell a joke about aliens, please. We don't need the woo of the who just yet. All right, I'm just going to let them chill. Maybe they will become like that kind of relationship. Who knows? And Ash, buddy, you just keep going. He's working on that last motor skill. That's all he has to finish. Oh, level 10. Oh, never mind. There's a lot more. A lot more on the motor skill than I realized. He needs, he's just going to be running around the next couple days because we're going to work hard on these guys. Holly? Holly, honey? You're being a little more dramatic than I thought you would. She's still super sad from her bad day at school. Bummer day at school. She just needs a hug. Rather than seek out her mom, she's just kind of like sitting in here, slowly leveling up her, her needs. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna leave you to it then. Good luck, poor kid. 
All right, and Aaliyah, she needs to play games of chess with somebody. So I'm actually gonna have um, Tate come up here and join the game so he can help out his niece. Because Lily is home and she could be spending time with her daughter, but she's upgrading this big old rocket. So it's gonna take a little while. I'll have her play a game of chess with her daughter in a little bit because, you know, they never get to spend time together. All right, you, come on. Your fun is not going up, so let's let's just like chit chat. Zomphus. Zomphus I don't know. Discuss world peace. <laughs> Deep conversation. Uh, is she single? Are we gonna ask her? I don't know. Are you single? Okay, Olivia is single. Olivia thinks that's a boring conversation, though. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just not the way the cookie crumbles. Um, take a picture together. Maybe they could just like go... <gasps> Holly has reached level 10 of the creativity. Yes, that's amazing. Let's have him just go dance together. Maybe that'll raise his fun. And Ash is just like, he's going to have to be so busy. Poor Ash. I'm just going to have to have him like come out here and play endlessly. All right, and Holly is just like playing away in her room. That's fine, Holly, that's what you need. Maybe she'll grow up to be a little bit of a moody, reclusive teenager. I'm thinking I wanted to send her in the, into the detective skill, but maybe she's a little more introverted than I give her credit for. Maybe she just wants to become like a writer or a musician <laughs> who plays like sad music. She might run the, the museum then. Who's this? Natasha. See, still no teens. I, res I swear to you going. I don't even know what she's up to. I'm just leaving her alone and she's going off on all these like wonky adventures. It's amazing. Well, and Pine's having a great time over here. Olivia, do you not want to dance with us? Come on, come on and dance. Just have a great time. Pine's finally feeling the groove. Meanwhile, upstairs, this little girl just had another game of chess. Yes. We'll be able to finish up that, that part of the WizKid part pretty soon. All right, all right, everything's going pretty good. I just, I don't know, I don't know, Pine. I don't know if you want to flirt with your best friend. But no, I don't think I could forgive myself if we didn't at least try. So let's see, romance. Let's try make a flirtatious joke. Let's just try it out, let's see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if we're that kind of friends with Olivia. There's a lot of fish in the sea. And this is... Oh my gosh. Pine's like talking about woo of the who. Oh my gosh, Pine. Okay, fine. Come on. Hey, stop dancing. Oh, she liked... Oh my gosh, she really liked that. Holy moly. Um, Attempt to seduce? What? What? Pick up line. What is this? Um, oh, she left. <laughs> I don't know, Olivia, maybe we made her too uncomfortable, who knows, but she just left, so, oh my gosh, um, wow, I'm gonna let Pi make, like, some garden salad to, ju like, just distract himself, and meanwhile, Tate is running around reading i don't even know what iris is up to she's just off into the wilderness she's free ranging it today away from home um you're not gonna sleep little buddy you are gonna do your homework and your dad's gonna come out and help you actually my gosh and then we're gonna have to kick we're just gonna have to keep kicking ash out oh what what oh no no don't do that I guess this little this little decorative piece needs to move. It's causing issues. Can I put it like back here? Okay. What about that? I guess they need the whole counter to cook on. That's a bummer. All right, resume. Resume salad. Will that work? No, no, not you, not you. Pine. Resume. Resume your salad. No, don't clean it up. That's a perfectly fine salad. Look at it. It looks delicious. There you go. I bet you picked those onions yourself. Oh, Lily. Hey, little girl. All right, she's focused, ready to go. Let's have her spend a little time, ask about her daughter, teach valuable lesson, enthuse about space, brighten day. Oh, she's like, but mom, I'm gonna die. I really have to go to the bathroom. 
Seriously, Mom? All right, and you... I want you to help your son with his homework. Because that's going to fulfill one of his needs. He had a child, Max is skilled today, and he's helping a child with homework, so that's awesome. He's got three kids, so he can help all three with their homework. Oh my gosh. And this little sweetie is still just pecking away at it. She's played the instrument for five hours straight. Um, you can stop now, honey. Oh my gosh, Holly. Poor little depressed Holly. But it looks like we'll be able to fill Holly's skills and she will be ready uh, to go. Wow, you know, when parents help out, they get their, their like things done a lot faster. What? You can do extra credit. Ash, since when can you do extra credit? Like, seriously? Wow. He's a lot smarter. I know that sounds horrible, but he's a lot smarter than I gave him credit for. Oh, there's, there's finally. Finally, mom has shown up, and she's just watching her son, like, make dinner, I guess. And she wants to kiss her husband, so we'll have her do that in just a second. Come over here. Let's see, give your husband... Woohoo and rocket ship. My goodness. Let's just give him a good old kiss. How about that? And then she's talking to her daughter. And you don't need to chat with your dad. You just need to, like, make this salad. There you go, Pine. I love how he's just, like, turned into trying to help out with the food at night. All right, there we go. Well, and during breakfast, too. Oh, look at those two cutie patooties. Oh, Leah, she's teasing her mom. That's so bad. Um, go ahead and go to the bathroom, little one. Lily is probably rolling her eyes at how silly her daughter is. Uh, let's get to know. Let's get to know your. Has to clean up toys. Get to know your nephew because that is what she wants to do next. I love seeing the family dynamics play out. Tate, you're also supposed to be me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, off these two go. Um, actually, Tate wants to ask Iris about her date and stargaze with her. So let's ask a risque question. Um, and then let us have him ask about day. I love how these two know they need to just kind of profess undying love. They need to just go elsewhere, whisper seductively if they want any alone time. And then let's have them go here together so they can go look at the stars. And then they might woohoo in the rocket ship <laughs> behind like Lily's back. Lily can be like, um, what? Good, now she's bonding with her nephews. Very important to do. Let's see, ask about woohoo. Tell joke about engineers. Oh, he's chatting with his little cousin. Oh no, she's like off to bed. Don't chat with your cousin when she's off to bed, you goose bucket. Let her rest. You finish up your food. Let her snooze. Zoe's home! She did great work too! Yay! Yay, Zoe! Maybe you can chat with friends, do something, have fun, come over here and eat. Alright, let's drag this over here. Fine, have you done your homework yet? I don't really care about what he's doing right now. Oh, he hasn't done his homework yet, so we'll have him do his homework and then his dad can come and help him so that Tate can fulfill those needs. Ali has gone to bed. Holly has gone to bed. We're gonna have Holly um, finish up. Holly is really close, actually. She just needs to draw two more pictures. So actually, it's Ash who we're gonna have to help out and we're gonna have to get him up on the motor skills. So we'll send him off on that. And we'll possibly, hey, Tate, where are you going? Okay, I guess he didn't want to, um, ooh, he wants to craft an end table, sweet. We'll have to send him and wifey back out to look at the stars in just a second. Tate, you can hold it. Get back out here and look at the stars with your wife. Um, more choices, friendly. Where is just like, gaze at stars? Where is that? I think, does that need to be like some sort of special option? Click, uh, group activities, group activities. That's right. Okay. Um, more choices, <laughs> group activities. Uh, share astronomy knowledge. Ask to stargaze. There you go. Get back out there. Be romantic with your wifey. She really wants to be friendly and romantic with you. And Ash has completed his extra credit. What the heck? And he's feeling very confident. So we're going to send Ash outside, actually. And he's going to play and play and play to hopefully get that skill up and lily oh lily's saying hello to her wifey which is adorable and let's have her go ahead grab a serving sit down just eat with her wife 
And then I'll send Lily off to space a little bit. Zoe, how'd you do at work? So many people to watch. Oh, that's right, we'll have Lily work out. Ah, oh, Lily, you work out soon. We're gonna have to have you like, oh my gosh. We'll send her off to space. She just needs to go to space two more times. So we'll do that twice just to get the nerd braid thing done. It's just like aspiration. Points left and right. Look at this guy. I would have been terrified. Oh my gosh, ow. That's why I would have been terrified to do that as a child. Oh, and these two are stargazing. Did someone feed the cow plant? Okay, we gotta feed the cow plant. And she wants to be friendly with her, her husband. So let's brighten his day. And profess undying love. And he wants to woohoo with his wifey. So you can feed the cow plant and then you can woohoo with your wifey. All right, we'll have her go to the bathroom, get something to eat. They're so cute, they're such a cute couple. There goes Ash, back and forth, raising his skill points. And Lily girl, Lily girl, you're not going to bed, Lily girl, you're going into space. Oh, we only have one more upgrade to do too. All right, off Lily goes to space. And Zoe, when does she have work next? Zoe has work in three days, so she can spend time with her daughter. Oh, it's gonna be a wonderful weekend. Maybe they can just have like a mother-daughter day. Go to a nice little restaurant or something. What the heck is going on with these chairs? Chairs, what are you doing? What are you doing, chairs? Weird. Oh, I guess L Lily like dragged her chair closer to Zoe. That's adorable. That's just adorable. All right, and Zozo, you need to have a little bit of fun. So, she actually needs to reach level six on the charisma skill. We're gonna send her upstairs to chitter chatter about it into the mirror. So practice speech, there we go. And then maybe we'll let her like just have fun using, using the little uh, microscope for a while. Well, she does want to practice speaking in the mirror. No, we're not getting a pool, Zoe. She's a little bored, I think. And Ash is off to bed. Where's Pine? Oh, doing his homework in his cousin's room again. That's fine, Pine, that's fine. Um, asteroid approaching, an asteroid is rocketing towards the planet. What is Lily going to do? Uh, try to blast it, I hope. Oh, Lily, be, be brave. All right, we're gonna feed the cow plant. It's a hungry cow plant. Oh no! Oh no! We have to block the asteroid with the ship. I'm really, I'm a little nervous. All right, let's fertilize like this plant. I'm nervous. Oh, yes! Yay! Lily managed to deflect the asteroid. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, and she found a space rock. Yes! I wanted a new space rock. I'm so excited. All right, and we're gonna have Tate come over and fertilize this thing with a guppy, I guess. Little teensy guppy. Dang it, we forgot to have him. Pine, are you done with your homework? Okay, hang on, hang on. Pine's not done with his homework. Tate, get upstairs, get upstairs fast. We can help your son with your home, his homework. Okay, get up here, quick, quick, run, run. All right, and Lily's bringing home a new space rock. Yay, Lily! Yay! Let's check out the space rock she brought home. <gasps> Yay, it's another common space rock. I think they're so pretty, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, look at it, it's so cute, it's so cute. All right, Lily girl. Back off you go. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> she just has one more adventure to go to complete that. And speaking of completing things, look who's awake, little Holly. Let's do this. Let's have Holly finish up with her drawings. Oh, what a fun family. Lecture about misbehavior, no. No, 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 become best friends. Become best friends. Oh no, Tate, did you get up there in time? <gasps> I think he did, I think he did. Ah, fudge knuckles. So I don't think he got up there in time to help Pine with his homework, but that's okay. Accidental bootlegger. Lily is filling up on rocket fuel when an alien spaceship pulls down next the pump, ugh, pulls up to the pump next to her. Lily doesn't think much of it until she sees an alien loading crates under her ship. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, well we now have level skill nine. Lily, well Lily is a moon mercenary, so she actually does do this stuff kind of regularly. It's just a little awkward. All right, we're going to let Pine. <gasps> Iris and Holly just became best friends. That's so sweet. And we need to change Iris's last name from Farmer to Green. My goodness. All right, let's send him to sleep over here. 
and send you to use the bathroom. See, we're working on all sorts of family things right now, but, the, uh, oh, and a playful sculpture. Let's do that. But Holly is actually really close to finishing her goal, surrounded by the space police. Uh-oh. Oh no, you guys! Surrounded by the space police. Lily is still choking on the alien spacecraft's exhaust when she hears the sirens blaring in the distance. The space police surround Lily's rocket ship and demand to search her cargo bay. She can turn over the goods and hope for the best or help the alien and possibly herself by hiding it. Well, we are playing the mercenary career tract on this one. So we're gonna try going ahead and hiding it, I think. Ooh, I really hope that goes that goes pretty well. And oh my gosh, now we have like the lumberjack thing sort of stuck. There we go. All right, so Tate, we're gonna send Tate back downstairs. He's gonna make some playful sculptures. I wonder what kind of different sculptures you can make. Can you make like sad ones? Can you make inspired ones? We're gonna have to find out. And where do you think you're going, Missy? Hmm? Oh, she wants to flirt with her wifey. And she wants, oh, misdirected like a pro. Luckily, the police captain seems to be into Lily. With a dash of charm and some crafty fast talk, Lily distracts the cop from performing a thorough search and hi and the police are gone in no time. Now Lily just has to find her alien friend. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I love it. All right, Stargaze, oh, that's so cute. I love how, oh, and I, again, again, we have a little hack here in uh, progress. What is this? Uh, Lily pilots her ship to a remote rest stop, but just as she's about to pry open the first crate, she notices a small red flashing light, a tracker. Then the alien knocks on her window. The smuggler unloads his stuff. He slips in Lily a small package in thanks before vanishing in a cloud of exhaust. A fossilized what's it? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so fun. Yay! Tate, also, why'd you have to come all the way up to our bathroom, hey? Eh? Cause somebody was busy studying her, her charisma in there, you know? In fact, I'm gonna send her back in there. Well, she's having fun with the microscope. And Lily's on her way home, so I'm gonna have Lily come up and spend some time with her wifey. Welcome home, Lily! Oh, I think that just completed like a whole, yes, fix or upgrade five objects. That's fantastic, Lily! You can upgrade your rocket ship. She is just going through that nerd brain in like no time and she can get the handy trait, instantly fix or upgrade any object. That would be fantastic. All right, well, I'm gonna send Lily upstairs to spend some time with her wonderful wifey and I'm gonna make Holly stop talking with her mom and come over and draw, I think she needs to draw people and a vehicle to finish up the last two of her skills. In fact, we might have her draw that real fast just to finish that up. Iris, what are you gonna do? How you feeling? A little bit tired? Decent salad, might as well put it away. Feed Microbite the rest. Here you go, Microbite, have a full salad. Good, good, yummy yellow salad, also good, a good little Microbite. All right, actually, we'll have her eat the salad. I should have had her eat the other salad. Oh, well. And yeah, Iris wants to go on two dates with her husband because she is now on the soulmate aspiration. But your aspiration has been filled, Iris. So, ah, dang it, floating plates. So you're just going to have to wait. Oh, she's feeling very inspired, actually. You're not getting a pool. Actually, they might get a pool because I saw a way that you could set the pool under the pond and then Sims can swim in the pond. So I might look into that. That would be really cool. We'll probably have her go ahead and, oh, look at this. Oh, she's unlocked like everything. Landscape painting, sad painting, playful painting, flirty painting. Oh my gosh, surrealism paintings. I love the abstracts. I think I'm gonna have her make an abstract painting um, just to use that, that, oh wait, no, she's really tired. So actually, I'm just gonna have her go to bed. There you go, Iris. And we're gonna follow Holly because I think Holly is almost done, you guys. And she's gonna be a teenager. I really think she might be into art. Like, I need to use a randomizer for all of the traits in Sims 4 now. Oh my gosh. Okay, keep going, Holly. I'm keeping an eye on you. Meanwhile, Tate, Tate, you're gonna be working on that woodworking skill because he needs to get, he needs to get that pretty high. He wants to have a child in high school, earn an A. Um, where's the woodworking? Or it's the handiness skill. Handiness, excuse me. Uh, this should increase his fun. And actually his son, I thought it was really cute. His son, uh, Pine, actually wants to learn handiness skill probably because he's been watching his dad make things. And let's take out some of the stuff that Tate has been making from his inventory. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the little mega cooler. But let's have like this dragon sculpture can go up here. 
And... Oh, it's a little cat sculpture. Oh my gosh, no it's not. What is that? It's a playful little like... What is this? This is cute. What the heck? How fun. It's like a little a little mystical thingy. I like it. I like it a lot. Where do, where do I want to put it? Maybe in the front? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. It's going to just sit right there for now. Because, goodness, that's kind of cute. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. He is just making them so quickly. Well, we're going to have him make a whole bunch and just save them for the future, too. Because with Get to Work coming back, I really want him to, like, run a little family stand of some kind. That would be really cute. No, Holly. Where are you going? Oh, look at her. She wants to tell a make-believe story. All right. Does she have just one more? No. Draw all five picture types. Well, she drew people. Um, does she need to draw, like... I think she drew vehicle. She drew monster. Let's try animal again. All right, Holly, I am sticking with you. This is your night, Holly. Holly's artistic night. In fact, I, I can add more, more like artsy decorative things. Do you need more artsy decorative things? I feel like she needs like art supplies. No, sit down. Come on, you can do it. She had to walk around for a little inspiration. You can do it, sweetie. I feel like I need to add some like decorative touches to encourage her. Uh, like, where's some good clutter? Is there like any art clutter I could put down there? Piles of laundry. Um, there's more books. I could put more book clutter down there. What, what's this? <laughs> Food clutter. Um, drop bucket. I could have sworn there was like paint and paint clutter and things you could put down, but I don't see it. So, huh. Was it under sculptures? No, I don't think it would be. They're really good at separating things like that. See, we could buy the Ultimate Freezer Bunny Award, which I have uh, because I bought all the Sims stuff on a, like a, a discount during Steam Summer Sale. But we could buy that and put that in the Family Museum. You know what I mean? I think a Family Museum would be really cool. Wow. There's just lots of cool like icons and items that we could collect. All right. I don't know what to put in here for her wall decorations. I don't think so. Maybe some of this? No, I don't think so. I think we're just gonna have to roll with what we've got. All right, on you go, Holly. I'm gonna stay here with you and your dad until like Tate has to work on that skill. Gonna have to make him do a bunch of ward working. And we need to let this little artistic prodigy, look at her little fireworks. I'm gonna stay here with you, Holly. This is your weekend. You're gonna grow up soon. You have one day. I don't think your brother can gain that many skills in a day. Okay, so Tate, you're all done. How you doing, buddy? He's really not getting a lot of fun. Let's have him come over here. Oh, cow plant's hungry again. Feed the cow plant. Come on. Then we'll have him come over here and make a fruit cobbler for everybody so they can have a nice yummy breakfast. Ooh, or maybe, yeah, let's make a breakfast scramble for everyone. Holly, Holly. Darling Holly. Oh, look at the beautiful fish picture she's making. Oh, I love it. I love the way the macaroni is just like on random things. Okay, did that help? Three out of five, still. Um, dang it, so we've made animal, monster, people. Do we just need to do another shapes? Okay, come on, we can do this, Holly. We got this. Don't be tired. Oh, poor Holly. We're gonna do it though. We're gonna have her get to the aspiration. Don't burn the breakfast food, Tate. Look at the little testing. Oh, I want more bugs. We definitely need to send the family on another vacation. Ew. Picking that up, throwing it back in there. I'm not sure about that, Tate. It's an excellent breakfast scramble though. So it's there and everyone can come and enjoy a nice breakfast uh, outside. And it's a great outdoors. And I'm gonna make Tate take care of these. I mean, look at these poor morals. You gotta just like tend your garden, sir. Tend your garden. All right. Oh, and Aaliyah's awake. Good morning, Aaliyah. Oh my gosh, like super long day because this poor chicklet. Aaliyah. Oh, I love how she just switches between her outfits at will. Maybe we'll have her come over. Come over and chat with Holly. Keep her company while we finish this up. So, Brighton Day. And then I think she wants to get to know her cousin. So get to know, is that what that is? Yeah, she does. All right, I love how they can talk while Holly's painting. All right, go Holly, go. Go Holly, go. We're getting close. 
go, Holly, go. No, don't you dare nap, Holly. <gasps> We're almost done. We're almost done. We're getting there. Okay, we just need to do one more. So we've done, now we need to do vehicle. No, 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 no. Don't you dare nap. Come on, come on, come, come draw a vehicle. Draw a vehicle. We're so close, Holly, you can do this. You can do this, and then we, we'll have to focus on poor little Ash all morning. Come on, Holly. Come on, come on, you can do it, Holly. Just one vehicle. Just draw wheels on the paper. Oh, and Aaliyah's just being such a social bug. That's adorable. I love how the cousins are just getting to know each other and she's just scooching around on the bed. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Leah, I love you. I really kind of want to put her in the scientist skill to say she's like following her mom's footsteps. All right, Aaliyah, are you going outside to get breakfast? She sure is. Oh my gosh, we're so close for Holly. Holly's paintings, Holly's paintings. And then they're all gonna come down when she turns into a teenager. <laughs> all right, come on, Holly, come on, Holly. You're almost there, Holly. All right, and... Almost. Are we there? Are we there? <gasps> we did it! Holly has completed the artistic prodigy aspiration. Her childhood dream of becoming an artistic prodigy. She has earned the creatively gifted. She now builds creative skills faster. Holly, I'm so proud of you. So it was hard work. She she had to play the violin whilst she was really sad from school and she had to make endless macaroni paintings, but here it is. Her amazing paintings are gonna be all over the wall and she's ready to become a teenager who probably has her eyes set on the arts. Oh my gosh. Well, I will see you guys next time. It is still gonna be a bright and early Saturday morning and it's gonna be little Ash's turn. Little, like little scamp Ash is going to have a very long day of playing on all the motor, the motor items. So, yep, that's you Ash. You're gonna, you're gonna be playing outside. You're gonna be dancing. You're gonna be typing. So we'll have to see if we can get his aspiration ready and then maybe we'll even celebrate the kid's birthday a little early. So we'll have to see. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.